Oh. Has really big boobies. <laughs> oh my gosh! You don't. You just. You can't just scar, start out of hey, the gate like that. You can't you just, say anything. I did say anything on the count of go. Okay. Anyway, hello everybody. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Welcome hello. to uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid uh, discussion. Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid's discussion. <laughs> it's good, right? I like that one. For just good. added another apostrophe. No. We're doing an anime discussion. We've never done one of these before, so don't expect it to go well. <laughs> yeah. I, I watched uh, this so entire... anyway, see, anyway, see you all next time. <laughs> no. I watched this entire anime in one night. I know. I was I there watched... for half of it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, we've never... We're doing a discussion podcast. We have all seen this anime, and uh, now we are going to discuss it. <clears throat> And uh, we are going to discuss everything in depth, so if you have not seen the show, spoilers are muck. But know that uh, I think we're all in agreement that uh, the show's pretty good, right? Toru's yeah. a goddamn dragon, spoiler alert. <gasps> oh my god, you can't just say things <laughs> like that. The dragons are maids. <laughs> Sorry, Whoa. Maids. God damn it. Wait, hold on, I need to pull up the mouth of this before we start discussing it. Oh, oh yeah. Why? Because I need to look at the picture. I need to look at... I need to see a picture, okay? I can't just w talk about it mindlessly. You don't understand. Anyway. <laughs> Hello? Hi. 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 So anyway, yes, about the uh, uh, the anime. Uh, so the whole the whole concept is that there are there are maids and there are... We well, there's just introductions, one. by the way. What? We never did introductions, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'm... <laughs> I, I'm Fireboy, the leader of the bunch. <laughs> you know me well. <laughs> so people do their other intros. Hey Hi. guys, I'm I'm Conquer. Follow me, twitch.tv slash Conquer. Hi. <laughs> this is gonna take like five hours. <clears throat> Hi, I'm R2. Follow me, on, follow me on Twitch. Get man, Hi. follow this man on Twitch and Twitter. And Twitter, anyway, Conquer nineteen YT. Anyway, so the show starts off, and, uh... Alright, just gonna first of all, mine, What? What? Anyway, first of all, main character girl. I don't... I think that it, that is already, like, out of the ordinary for most anime. I mean, I guess not most anime, but, like... This is, like, a weird, like, kind of, like, comedy, like, somewhat fan y like, show kind of harem. Could you classify this as a harem? Your basic yeah. slice of life. I guess slice of life. I'm pretty, I, would, I'm, I would kind I'm, of classify it as a like a harem fan service comedy. I'm pretty sure like the like it's it identifies as a little bit itchy. I don't know. I'm uh, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, effing Luca classifies it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's pretty good. Anyway, yeah. So like, so the start. It starts out and the maid dragon's like, "Hi, I'm a dragon and also a maid, and uh, I'm in forever indebted to you because of some crazy ass crap you did drunk last night." And I'm like, "Cool, <laughs> I'm already, I'm already into this, dude." Yeah. As soon as she she waddled up in that little dress, I was like, "Yes, this is the anime." <laughs> I just like that. I just like the introductory sequence of just like opening the door. She just and opens a, the just door. And there's a dragon there. This is a dragon, and then the dragon transforms into a maid, and it's great. And then she's like, "I'm dreaming. It's okay." <laughs> <laughs> and then it quickly, and then she's quickly like, "I'm in love with you. I want your butt. I want your uh, butt." It, it, I think it was really weird how like. A day passed, and she was like, man, it's still a dream, and it's been two days, and then she's like, oh, dang, I'm late for work. <laughs> well, I don't think it was two days, I think it was just a couple minutes. No, but she was like, it's been two days. Am I crazy? I, I think she mean it's been two days since she helped her. Anyway, I like lesbians. This show has at least uh, two pairs of lesbians, these main two characters being one of them, kind of? Yes. Kobashi never seems to be interested in uh, banging Toru. Toru, but Toru seems, is very definitely interested in banging uh, Kobayashi. If even you watch that show like, for about five minutes. And, and the, at the same time, though, Toru doesn't know how anything human works. Yeah, yeah. I, kinda, I like that aspect of the show of like, oh, we're not supposed to like be, we can't interact with humans, it's uh, immoral. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, uh, but she does yeah. it anyway. <laughs> so she probably might not know what banging is, because there's plenty she of times... She might not know what banging She says, all right, I'm interested in you sexually. I have, a not... I have a screenshot of her saying, I'm your sex slave. 
<laughs> yeah. Send me that screenshot. I will put it in the thumbnail. All right, I'll send you the screenshot. It's in my waifu folder. It's in my waifu folder. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, pff, fudge. What else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, the, I think the animation is really good. But And normally I'm like, yeah. oh, animation's not that good. But, I mean, I, I'm not... The animation's not that good. I like good animation. For but, uh, for a general studio I haven't heard of, it's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. You've never heard of Kyoto Animation? Wait. What? I don't watch a lot of, a lot of anime. They made Clannad. I love Kyoto. Yeah, and, and Clannad and Lucky like Star. Garbage. They made Lucky Star. Okay, Lucky... Yeah, but those are both super old. <laughs> <laughs> you're kidding, anyway, you're back, to bring up really old anime that can back to lesbian dragons. <laughs> Whatever, dude. We're going back to lesbian dragons. <coughs> but yeah, so anyway, the animation uh, is not like I don't think super important in most cases, but I feel like it really helped this series specifically because it helped with like comedic timing. Yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, there yeah. was also, like, some bits that just, like, had over-the-top animation for no reason, but I like that. I think it's just to, like, emphasize, like, emotional scenes, I think. Right? Am I crazy? Yeah. In a sense. Yeah, like, uh, when she was chasing the the thief, that was, like, a lot looked like it went into that. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I think, yeah, because that, that sp- scene where, like, she was chasing the thief and, like, the marketplace like th- that was like supposed to be like oh i'm standing out a bunch so i they put a bunch of animation into it to just emphasize like make that a stand out memorable scene which yeah. worked it really worked they they basically were like this is anime <laughs> <laughs> they're like hey dude we're in an anime right now <laughs> that's what so it yeah, looked I... like to me. hmm that's what it looked like to me at least but anyway yeah. i like most of the characters they're like only one or two characters good like Toru's like good, great. She's like good waifu. She has a good voice actor. Is that what uh, that's how we're uh, tearing these characters by if they're good waifus or not? <laughs> what she's like? She's like, Hel- thank you for saving my life. I'm now gonna be your housewife. Like, how is that not like a waifu? I well, feel I mean, like yeah, that's the but... definition of waifu, right? Yes, What's the but definition I don't see how we're... somebody Google it. Yeah, let's just. Anyway, move I on. just... I just but, really like her. I just really like her, like animation and old character. The whole time, I thought I recognized her voice actor, but I didn't. No, she's voice acted. It's a relatively new voice actor. Yeah, she's she's like, new. voice acted nothing. She, she sounded like um, what's her name from Yuru Yuri? Yeah, no, she's. Oh, I know who you're talking about, but I forget. The the blondie girl. Kyoko. Yeah, yeah. I think it was her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She sounds like Kyoko, and and the whole anime, I thought I, it was Kyoko, and at the I end, I looked it, it up, too. and it wasn't actually Kyoko. I was like, what the hell? Mm-hmm. Anyway, I like uh, Toro's whole arc of, like, uh, she wants to repay her debt, and then she, like, at the end, I don't know why I'm skipping to the end, but, like, at the whole arc of, like, she did, she feels like she doesn't belong, and, like, oh, no, that was the thing. She She's saying she knows that she's going to outlive Kobayashi uh, by several millennia, so she's like, I can't be with them forever, and she was, like, struggling with that the whole time until it, like, came into fruition during the end, and she was forced to face it and be like, I don't care, I want to be uh, with my waifu forever. I was actually sad, like, for that part. Yeah. When, when she got taken away... By her, oh, and yeah, then. Yeah. I was like, I was like, holy hell! Like, is she actually gone? And then, like, they did where it seemed like days had passed without her. It felt like a couple like weeks, cause the uh, or I don't know. Kobayashi is kind of like Kobayashi's actually I actually have some problems with Kobayashi's like one of the weaker characters, cause she's just like Cause she's uh, not a dragon. I mean, no, she like she doesn't do anything. She's kind of like, oh, well, she's there just to she's teach. Like a, she's like a main character. She's like, oh, I guess this is happening. Oh, I guess this is okay. Oh, I guess I'll do this. Oh, I guess I'll do that. You know what she's I mean? Well, like, what, what, what would your life turn into if you suddenly had a dragon maid? Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think much else is going to be too about it. I would definitely put some thought into what I was going to do. No, you know I, think, I, mean? I think if you after you've seen Dragon Maids, I think you've seen it all, and you you just don't care. Nothing is exciting anymore. I guess it was, she was just like kind of a boring character. It, she was just kind of like okay, I guess. But like, well, she's just last... basic. She's just your basic character. Yeah, I just feel like they could have done like more to sell out like the the whole. I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like everything just kind of happened to Kobayashi and nothing else. She didn't really do anything to start it other than, like, randomly getting drunk 
And but that wasn't even like her doing. She just got drunk. <laughs> she just got it super just happens. drunk <laughs> until like the last ten minutes of the show where she came out and was the like, "I, I love like, my waifu." I don't know. I <laughs> see. I kind of I kind of relate to that because there's some moments in life where something happens and the only thing you can do is idly wa- like watch by and sometimes yeah, like, there's like just nothing you can do and and like if your only source of uh being relieved in life is alcohol then that's what she's gonna it's turn alcohol. to <laughs> i kind of liked her friend uh what was it takia kids drink responsibly I like your friend Takia. Takia was just kind of like the friend. He didn't show up too often, but like he just forced things to happen. Can know? I just say I love the entire part where where Fafnir was like best yes. buds with him. That Wait, was what? Pro- when Fafnir was like best buds with him. I fucking oh, yeah. love Fa- that. I love like, like the a- concept of Fafnir. He's just great. Yeah, Fafnir's pretty good. Because he's, like a- was like, he's, he's like, like a, a- He's like a practical god who wants to destroy the world, but he just becomes an otaku instead. <laughs> yeah, I think that was, a, like, an interesting twist on, like, the character, right. where, like, he was, like, this... I think he he sounded like he was, like, a higher-up. He was, like, a boss of yeah. something. He was, like... He sounded like he was Toro's superior, and he, like, came up to, like, check in on her, and then got distracted and became an otaku. <laughs> yeah. I, I specifically love the part where he it's, like, his first time over, and he's immediately addicted to Dark Souls. Addicted to Dark Souls, yeah. They had they had like this huge like Dark Souls like not Dark Souls thing. That was pretty great. Mm-hmm. And then he gets then... addicted to like RuneScape or whatever the hell. Yeah. And then wait, did I have notes about him? No. <laughs> well, that's he was kind of that's kind of just what he was there for. Yeah, it's like he's he is like his jokes are funny. Like he is an otaku and he didn't sell mm-hmm. anything at Comic Kit. Yeah, I felt like legitimately bad for him. I, mm-hmm. I feel like they were gonna go somewhere with his character because they had I a scene. Them too. They had a scene where they're like, "Oh man, this guy sure is an otaku, isn't he? He spends all his days on the, this effing MMO." And then they just kind of didn't do anything with that. Season two, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe. I feel like, although I don't know, I feel like the show kind of like ended in a pretty good place that wouldn't really warrant a season two. Well, I mean, I wouldn't mind. you know how anime is. Even if it ends pretty perfectly, they're gonna want to milk it. Mm-hmm. Or not milk it. Either we'll never get a season two, or we'll definitely get a There's season two. There's been a two. confirmed season two for the show. Are you sure? I looked it yes. up. Yes! I think you're full of it. No! Wait, really? Wait yes. I didn't know that. Confirm- I thought I told you. Like, it's confirmed. This has been a confirmed season two. Really? I did so much research, I could not find You'll have to show me that later. Anyway. <laughs> I'll, I'll look it up right now. <laughs> He's looking it up right now. I would be pretty... I mean, I don't know what else they could do, because I feel like they kind of covered, like, as much as they could. I mean, they, they made 12 episodes, and there was only five, uh, five mangas. Five mangas? <laughs> <laughs> there's only, there's only five, uh, five books, so... You sure about that one? Oh, yeah, I guess, right? Yeah, there's only five volumes. But and they made 12 continuing to publish. That's weird, maybe in, like, 20 years. Anyway, uh, <laughs> is R2 back yet? Huh? We're talking, we're gonna talk about your waifu. We're gonna... T- what? <laughs> we're gonna talk about Kana. That's not waifu, but she's a great. Ca- I like her. Yeah, she's Dude. like co- she's like Toru's like friend or like subordinate or something. She like kind of like a character that looks up, and she like starts out as like I hate you for taking Toru away, and then later she's like mommy. <laughs> yeah, like okay. Dude, Loli, I think that's a bit... Loli Dragon is one of the best characters. Yeah, I like I her like that... design. Her design's cool. Yeah, that's like her does her character design is like excellent. Like yeah, there's. There's, like, a good combination of, like, white and pink, both in, like, her dress and, like, her mm-hmm. hair and, like, with, like, yeah. black. It's, yeah, like, I'm like the little character pink. Yeah, I just like her character because it's so simple, too. Like, she's just there. She's means mainly there for, like, just comic relief and stuff. Yeah, to be, and a, cute, to be a cute small dragon girl. <laughs> she's just there to be, like, look at the, her. The, she's great. <laughs> But yeah, I also like I, I like liked her her addition. Like, created some sort of like family dynamic where like yeah, Toru was like the mom and Kobayashi was like the other mom, <laughs> and she was like the child. Yeah, and I think I think that created something interesting where like and one of the few like almost interesting moments that Kobayashi did where she was like I'm gonna do hard work so I can go to Kana's uh, thingy mabalber and I was like hey you're growing as a character it's crazy. Yeah, I think it. Um, so maybe uh, maybe Kobayashi's not as dumb of a character as I think. Maybe I'm just over exaggerating. I mean, yeah, Ko- I, like, <laughs> I, I feel like Kobayashi is like the like he's kind of the creator is kind of reflecting how he might feel onto her. 
Because, like, Maybe. life is just full of all these stresses, and, like, there's not really much you can do about it besides keep on living life. Mm-hmm. I guess. Anyway, uh, fudge! I closed the page I needed! <laughs> well, reopen it, and I'll talk about how crazily interested I got into Saikawa. Who's Saikawa? Oh, the, oh, uh, Kana's friend? Uh, that was the other oh, yeah. lesbian I was referring to. Is Can we count her as a lesbian? I don't yeah. know. She went yeah. all hearty eyed every time Kana like so much just looked at it looked in her direction. So yeah, yeah. we're calling that lesbian times. She was a interesting character. I normally don't like running gags, but like that was an okay running gag. The only I, character I think I didn't like was Shota. Shota he was he was there just to like just to hate Luca. Just, oh yeah, she, like he was there to like in like go further into the fan service bit, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, Loka was another like character. That was like Toru's friend, and I, I, I don't know how I feel I about Loka. I do like. I, she's just, she's just there for fans. She, she's, she's Mrs. Tits and Butt, but I liked her. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was. I, I, I think she was funny. I, I liked the bits where she would go out in public and then get dragged away. I think that was really funny. Yeah, I mean, like, oh, she yeah, had some good moments, but like she's just there for fans. I don't hate her, but yeah, I feel like not one of like, my favorites. I don't know. Before I feel like I like Shota for the reason that it gave like Luca like a reason to be there because before yeah. she was just kind of hanging out, but then like. Now she has, like, this relationship with, uh, the fudging... What's his face? The kid. I don't know. I didn't like Shota, Shota that much. I, I feel like he was, like... I don't know. He was just there. Yeah, he was just there. And he didn't have, like, really anything towards the plot except for, like, the school race. His yeah. his family... I found it interesting. His family yeah, like, was they didn't delve mages. into that much. His family was, like, mages. So, like, maybe some sort of, like, magic things happen in this world? I don't... It's weird. But didn't but didn't Miss Kobayashi say like, oh, her dad actually just works for my company? <laughs> I yeah. mean, you have to have a day job, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just gotta have a day job. Like you said, they're in hiding. It's a hard oh, world gosh. here. We forget anyway. Oh yeah, effing uh, Elma. Elma I, was like, I wanted her to have better stuff. She was just a throwaway. And she it's was made me just sad. there. She was Elma, just. She, she was really I, cute though. She, I liked she was her. Cute. I, liked I liked her design, but like. She literally only like after her introduction, like she literally she only was had like nothing. Food and that made scenes. me sad. That she likes food. Sad. That's her entire character. Okay, but I also like food, so I relate to her on a very emotional <laughs> level. <laughs> yes, emotional yes. Level. But I'm just saying that I wish they dealt deeper because like, she was, like, like. Did you know, guys? Fun fact: Did you know that she was present for the Christmas episode? Because I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Because she was actually the that's the only other time that she showed up. She was there for the Christmas episode. But because yeah. like Elma was like she was Toru's like rival. Like she's there. Yeah. Like she's on a different faction. You could have went somewhere with that, but you didn't. You just yeah, threw her I, away after that. I feel like she didn't have any like place in the story because yeah, like, no, I mean like she she almost had no reason to be there, and that's kind of sad. I kind of wanted feel- like more. They desperately to like tried to throw ideas at the wall and hope they stick. Like, oh, she's Toru's rival. Oh, she's Kobayashi's like a work assistant who's learning, and also she likes eating. And like, what is this character? Yeah, yeah no. they, they tried a lot of more. things, but I think maybe in the studio she didn't really stick, and that's why they, she didn't really turn into anything. Yeah, I, I get. I'm like, but Which why add? Why add her in? Like, if, like, she doesn't do... Like, you could just remove her from the show and not lose her like, ten minutes of... She, you could, that's you the could, sad thing. She's there for could, filler. You could throw her away and not lose, like, ten minutes of effing screen time. I could sit down and animate and paint ten minutes of anime to replace her. I don't know. See, I think she's cute, and she looks like a League of Legends character, so I'm a little... She looks like a League of Legends <laughs> character? She looks like Soraka, if you know who Soraka is. And no idea. You told me. Guys, really, ask me really anything cute. about League of Legends. Do you like League of Legends? No idea. Great. <laughs> <Right. laughs> I don't know. She she was the cool character, but, but oh yeah, her running jokes. I said I liked running jokes. I said I I said I normally don't like running jokes, and this is exactly why. She was like, I don't want to buy this food. Oh, I bought this food anyway because I like food. Oh my god. I mean, I go through that. <laughs> Where it's do you like, go I through that? Money. Do you go through that like five times an episode? No, I see. Yeah, there that was go. a little too much. Where like, I feel like if there were commercials on Crunchyroll, that would be the scenes that play in between the commercials, like it does on Japanese anime. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's all. She. <laughs> what? Huh? Dip. Dip. Uh, 
<laughs> you okay? I don't know what. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm really fine. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we did talk. I did like. I did like a lot of the comedy scenes, though. Don't get me wrong. Like this, this anime had like top tier comedy scenes. Yeah, she she's mm-hmm. got a good. She's a good character. It's just, I the mean, she's got the no two point. Scene, the two scenes that stuck out to me is uh, Kobayashi's like, "Hey, Toru, do you want to do a bath? I'll give you a bath as a reward." And she's like, "Ah, oh, kick ass!" And she runs away like undressing, and then hard cuts to like Kobayashi just standing there like hosing her dragon down. <laughs> like a car. <laughs> like yeah, a car. That was, that thought, was really good. I, I like thought that. that was pretty good. That's a point where, like, animation, like, really helps, because, like, she was, like, skipping and bopping and, like, undressing at the same time, and that, like, that really helped, like, okay, well, I know what's coming next, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> that and, uh, the other one that really stuck out to me is, uh, like, Kana is, like, doing, like, some summer homework, and she, they're like, yeah, you have to research bugs, and she's like, yes! okay, I can do that. <laughs> and so she, love- she creeps up on this, on this, like, bug oh, on the she has a net in her hand she has a net she has a net in her hand she just walks up to it and then just like dislodges her jaw and eats it it's effing great dude <laughs> i love those se- those bits where it kind of just eats whatever i yeah dude, like, that. That, 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 I, love, actually, I loved your reactions to him every time like every time i saw kana with something i'm like oh don't eat it and then she fucking don't eat, eat it <laughs> Like, I knew she was gonna do it, and I'm like, don't do it, Kana, come on, you're better than this, and then munch. <laughs> munch. <laughs> it was so, my favorite was the first time you saw it. Yeah, because so cool. that might be, like, my favorite uh, s- comedy scene in the show, because they they did a good job of, like, set they set it up in the last episode where she was on the beach, and she was just eating something, and I was like, oh, okay, I guess that's a thing she does. <laughs> so then, like, it was, like, unexpected and, like, completely expected and, like, completely understandable at the same time. It was good. That's how you write comedy. Yeah. People are just like, hey, funny joke, and then there you go. But, like, no, mm-hmm. you you can, like, you do very well to, like, set it up. And, like, yeah. even the car washing scene. <laughs> car, <laughs> car washing scene. There's no like, cars involved in this. <laughs> Even the car washing scene makes sense because we know, like, oh, hey, they like each other, so, like, they're gonna do this, but, oh, wait, Tor- of course Toru's more comfortable in dragon <laughs> form during a bath, so, yeah, let's do this. Yeah. It's great. I like yeah, the part like, good- where she was in dragon form. I like what they did with, like, her voice while she was oh, in yeah, the they dragon. Oh, yeah, they gave like, it, like, the, a weird like, echo. Effect, we all yeah. watched the Japanese version. Uh, the dub, is, I would, I've i watched a little bit of the dub, and it's not that great. I don't like the dub. Some of the characters just don't fit. I didn't watch the dub. I don't feel like it. Kana was just, like, kind of, like, bratty. I kind of liked Kana's voice, but it also didn't. Mm. Who the hell voiced it English Kana? Kobayashi's uh, English voice sounded pretty, like, good, though. I liked her. I- Anyway, uh, I like how one of the episodes uh, is called uh, F. Where is it? F. Where is it? It's the one I'm thinking. I liked it, too. Oh, Summer Staples, the fan service episode, frankly. That's oh, yeah. That's great. <laughs> that's, my effing, that's my effing favorite thing. Like the, I like this show's writing. Like Even, like, the minor things are literally good. Like the title, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, like I feel the, like the writing stood out to me, and it was really good, and I liked it a lot. Yeah. That entire uh, anime had like such like standout crap that I don't think you could really catch the first time watching. Yeah, it doesn't go too tropey. It kind of does its own thing in some right. Other than like, yeah, if, that's why I feel like um, Kobayashi's character is so like kind of like st- like sticks out to me. Because if this was like a like an anime that wasn't tropey, like a tropey thing like that of like Hana being like a wishy washy milk toast main character, like wouldn't bother me. But like since it does, it'd be like, well, if you <clears throat> just were like a little bit interesting, if you just had that <coughs> final piece, you know. I don't know. See, I don't. I don't really have a problem with Kobayashi. I think it's just no, like either. this is the human. This is how she get like gets along with life. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was like, it was like, I gave it, I gave it like an eight. It's like, it's like a strong eight out of ten. It's a solid eight. Okay, I don't know what I gave it. I forget. But I feel like, I feel like if they, they just like they killed Elma, or did something more interesting with her, and Kobayashi was a more interesting character, <coughs> I feel like, I feel like it could just like it could get a nine or maybe a, even a ten. Probably not a ten. I don't know if it has enough as a base to have to be a 10 unless they got really like in deep with the uh dragon human relationships cuz i feel like that was interesting like there were several like lines thrown about about like a uh, people like there was like a line when kana was like shopping for school he, uh he, they were like oh people don't like people acting differently and there were a bunch of other things like oh we yeah, can't yeah she got real 
Yeah, like for stuck out real. And I think those are interesting topics, but I don't know. They didn't really do a whole lot with them, other than just say it's hard being adapting if you're different. Like, yeah, I guess you're right, dude. It's a harem anime. What do you want out of it? Is it again? We go back to this topic. Is it a harem anime? I'm pretty Let's sure. It's a see harem. what it's listed as. Officially, <laughs> I know it's, it's like slice of life comedy fantasy. I guess. Is it? I feel like it has m- enough plot to be slice of life, but not enough plot to not be slice of life. Does that make any sense? It's, it's definitely. Sli- you don't need much plot for slice of life. It's just hey, in the house. Yeah, it's just life. But like the, there was like new characters getting introduced and like uh, like a, an ending, and I, I guess it's kind of like a slice of life. It feels more slice like slice of lives have endings. It feels like it's more of like the structure. I feel like it's like has the. Co- like has the tone and like comedy of a slice of life but yeah. like the plot structure of a harem where like girls get introduced like every other episode and then there's like a big fina- like bad guy finale and then it ends am I crazy? I guess well, like... <laughs> I guess I'm crazy <laughs> I don't know wait is that what you meant? I guess no. you're crazy <laughs> <laughs> I misworded myself I don't know. But yeah, I I did like all, all the topics. I just wish they went like a little bit farther. But I guess with twelve ep- the thirteen episodes, I don't know. I feel like I don't know. I just feel like it tried to do like two two different things, and it did both of those things quite well. But like yeah. cl- clearly, yeah. like the plot and like the themes of the show like definitely got the short stick there was definitely some point where i kind of felt a change and then like near the end it kind of like tried to go back i, I don't really know like what, what it was what change do you mean <laughs> like i don't know i think you stopped I watching it in 3 a.m with r2 was that the change no because i no. when i went to bed it was like 4 a.m and i only had like two episodes left <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah, I um like... i don't know I, feel like, I, I feel like a little bit of Taru changed and then went back and then changed again. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. Because the thing, like, I feel like Toru's character development, she knew these things the whole time that was, yeah. like, bothering her. Like, she had, like, there was, like, a scene near the last, in, like, the last episode where, like, oh, I am your doubts. And I was like, okay, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I feel like like that's understandable because these were things that she was struggling with the whole time. Like, oh, I don't fit here. I, I stick out. But she was, like, trying to specifically ignore them um, and, like, because she didn't want to deal with them. And that's understandable. But Kobayashi's like, ah, I guess I like my family, so I guess I'll just keep them. Whatever the F, right? <laughs> Right. I don't know. Because, uh, like, Kobayashi's not... friend, like, Kobayashi's friend was like, oh, you sure have gone hap- gotten happier and changed a lot recently? And she's like, yeah, I guess. And I was like, the hell? <laughs> Appreciate what you have, goddammit. I don't know. See, I guess and it's at a the little end, different perspective-wise. Yeah, I feel like, I mm. feel like it's just that, I feel like Kobayashi's, like, thing is like, <laughs> oh, that you didn't realize the good thing that you had until it was gone, and then when it was gone, you're like, oh, crap, I really like that thing now that I think about it. Yeah, which is uh, again why I feel like that completely changes like the tone of Kobayashi's character, which is why I think a season two might be difficult to do, because like then they would have to rethink like, well, what does Kobayashi do? Like, does does she go back to normal or does she like try to show appreciation? Season think, two is just porn. Omelet rice thing where Kobayashi's like, oh, I forgot to thank her. I'll do it next time. Whatever. Like that's. that's Run of the mill, like I'm taking my life for granted, like talk. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, for for a lot of the a lot of the anime, I was kind of like I, I felt a little on par, and I guess that's why it's a bit of perspective thing because they have points where like obviously the plot points coming from somewhere in the creator's mind. So I feel like maybe he like went through some things and like he made like a happy anime to kind of express it. I don't know. I, I felt I felt on par with a lot of the emotions. Yeah, I get. It. I feel. I feel, I do feel like I'm. I uh, like this show more looking back on it than when I was actually watching it. Because when I was actually watching it, I was like, "Why are you just such a dumb character, Kobayashi?" But now I'm, now I'm like, "Well, I guess that's the theme, right? That's like the whole like theme of the show, where like she had something really good and then she lost it, and then she like, oh, now I want it back.' But the whole big speech at the end, I just wish. 
that whole character <clears throat> development was like slowly over the entirety of the show instead of just like at, in the first five minutes in the lo- last ten minutes. You know what I mean? I feel like if it was maybe a general like general anime is usually like twenty episodes. I feel like if it were like that, it would be. But because it's like a little condensed, maybe they couldn't do it the way they wanted to. Maybe I guess, but I feel like the whole the problem I just brought up was just like they didn't use enough of their time. I guess. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess that makes sense when you figure all like the the scenes with Alma and then like the two episodes that were kind of just throw away. The Christmas episode. <laughs> the Christmas episode was, like, fun. It was, like, a standard, like, the show's almost over, so let's get all the characters together in a room and have them do something Christmas wacky. Christmas episodes are good. I mean, like, the, yeah, I like the, the the sport episode and, like, the, the summer episode, I feel like they didn't need to be two different episodes. <laughs> yeah. The sport Honestly. episode, the, uh, the fudging sports festival episode, I feel like, wasn't that, like, two episodes? Wasn't that, like, a whole arc of, like, no, wait, that was two episodes. The first episode was, like, kind of was, like, I want to go to the sports fest, come to the sports festival and watch me, mommy. And Kobe, she's like, oh, I can't, I have work. And then it was, like, the whole big thing of, like, okay, fine, I'll go to your stupid sports festival. <laughs> But don't say and it like that. The next episode was the sports festival. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't feel like it needed to be... There, I mean, there was practically, like, two or three throwaway episodes that they could have done anything with. Mm-hmm. And yeah. I feel... Like, I don't know. They, they could have used feel like episodes better. It was mainly, like, a comedy show. Like, a comedy, like... Harem show, I guess? Not really, like, a harem, just a comedy a bunch of cute girls are there there are like no guys it feels more slice of lifey is fafnir a guy fafnir's a guy right yes (laughs) yes fafnir Fafnir indeed has a dick confirmed (laughs) can you confirm that for me yeah let me go post in the cute anime boys chat (laughs) we have a uh a discord server for all our buddies and uh in that server we have a A, a chat group just called C- Cute Anime Boys. Which Wait, requ- re- requested by Yish because he unironically un- likes them now. And I posted a picture of Toad and now I'm not allowed in there anymore. Hey, that that was his deciding, okay? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to Dr- Maid Dragon. Yeah, I think it was it was definitely like they wanted to have like like, they wanted to, like, oh, Maid Dragon, like, it's dragons and they're maids and they go watch the show and they're, like, they could have just left it at that. They could have not done anything with it and gotten, just used it as a hook and nothing else. But they did actually use, like, oh, we have magic powers and, like, we're from another world and we technically don't belong here. And there's a bunch mm-hmm. of, like, economic stuff. Like, I like the f- flashback near the end where, like, Toto's, like, saw that one human and she was like, ah, oh, I want to be just like you when I grow up. Or something like that. <laughs> She didn't say that, but... What was the point of that? I feel like I, I liked that in the moment, but I don't remember what the hell what it, it well, was Well, it was like, Kobayashi was like, why you're so, like, kind of warm to humans? Because every other dragon seems to hate people. Oh, yeah, I so guess. So she would explain she had, she had why like a... there was, like, a thief girl that was, like, on the yeah. run, and she was hiding away in those ruins, same place Tor- Toru was, and they just became buds, and then... The... So that, like, like that put her, like, on the prefaces of, like, liking humans, so she was yeah. like, oh, man, I shouldn't have been so mean to that human. The next human I meet, I won't be mean to. Like, exactly. that kind of feeling, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. See, Toru's well, an no, interesting there character. Also I feel the like... part where fucking Kobayashi just tore the sword out of her. <laughs> I like yeah. the explanation for that. Don't pull the sword of God, it'll make you go crazy, and then she just pulls it, and, is, and she then she's like, well, I guess it didn't make her go crazy because she doesn't believe in God or something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, wait, was that the explanation? I think so. That's funny. But yeah. So, like, on all of these things, like, all of these, like, extra themes and, like, plot elements are, like, kind of extra. If they didn't have all, uh, any of that, it would have been, like, a solid sh- comedy show. But it has those things, and that kind of what's, what pushes it from, like, a 7 to an 8 for me. Like, it, it is special in that aspect. But I just feel like if it was just pushed a little tiny bit farther, if it was just, like, done a little better, I feel like it could have been, like, a truly great show. Wait. But it's still they, a great show. They have a spinoff manga for just Kana. <laughs> Yo, I'm down. <laughs> called, Dude, it, get it's that billionaire called, on Twitter. It's on literally the phone. called Kana's Daily Life. Holy crap. I'm down. Let's go. <laughs> get that billionaire on the Twitter to uh, fund the anime version of that. Yeah. <laughs> That was a thing. There was like a there was like some billionaire on Twitter that was like, "Hey, can we have those ReZero spin-off chapters animated?" <laughs> and I was like, "Do it, dude." 
Taylor. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, was there anything else that uh, we wanted to talk about? This has been going on for 35 minutes. Hmm. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, they started. She was like, ah, oh, now I'm Kana. Blah, 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 blah. And then Kana goes to school. Can we talk Kana- about Quetzalcoatl's fucking hair for like 10 minutes? I like it. Because that oh, was like fudge. The best. That's what I was gonna look up. I was gonna look up uh, her effing backstory was a reference to like actual mythology. Yeah, she no. Was like, oh. she, got, she got drunk and raped her sister. <laughs> oh yeah, mm-hmm. that's what it was. She was a goddess. Now <laughs> they make they make they make jokes of that in the anime. And she yeah, they've said it a few I times. I think that's pretty funny. That 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 is pretty. That's like a little detail that I think they is pretty cut funny. off Toru from saying the whole thing, but <laughs> it's it's heavily implied. You know what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Her eyes are cool, too. I feel... Oh, yeah, she has, like, weird, crazy... I like unique, crazy eyes in anime. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, Also, um... R2 has a strong feeling that this guy might also like, uh, Fire Emblem. Because, um... Kana... Kana's full name is Kana Kamui. Oh, the writer of the show. Which which is also the name of... Kamui is the name of Korin from Fire Emblem Fates, and Kana Mm -hmm. is the child. They both turn into (laughs) dragons. Oh my god! So, it has that has to be a reference. I like, want to say it is, and then to like uh, mythology. K- Kobayashi. I was gonna say that has to be a reference shirt. to mythology, not just Fire Emblem, because that seems like a weird I mean, coincidence. It probably is because they mentioned like Thor and stuff like that. Yeah, because this was written. When was Kobayashi? It was written 2013. That was before uh, Fire Emblem was a thing. Yeah, but well, they came out in Japan way earlier than in the U.S. We're looking it up. Like it came out like ha- Fates came out half a year in Japan or half of earlier than the US. But it also may be that like they pr- Fates probably did the same thing with both sides, and then Kobayashi did the same thing with the names. It's probably just names. Yeah, Fire Emblem Fates came out June fifteen, and uh, the original the first chapter the first volume of the manga was like uh, May twenty thirteen. Mm. So what if it's the other way around? I mean, it could be. Could be. <laughs> But what explain is... explain Kobayashi having a shirt that says Robin. Does does wait that doesn't happen? Are you crazy? She has one. Oh. I think it said shirt. something. I think it said something else on it. It's probably just English stuff that just Japan wanted. Random to English T-shirts that Japan mm-hmm. loves. I mean, yeah. Random one of their person. one of their stores' name was like fucking Ruby something or or whatever. Something like Cherry Blossom or whatever. Yeah, it was called like Cherry Blossom Shop or something. Uh huh. Something I really, I kind of like and don't like the ending because, like, the last three episodes, like, episode, like, 11 and 12 was kind of, like, especially 11 was, like, really slow because they specifically started the episode by not going it, doing anything. Because yeah. <laughs> they had that, like, they had that whole scene where they're like, let's win a trip to do something interesting. And then they're like, oh, well, I see where this is. I can see the entire rest of the episode. And then they didn't do that. And then the rest of the episode was just They want to Kotatsu quiet. instead. They want a Kotatsu, and then I li- I like that because that like was the theme of the show of like c- cozy and quiet under the Kotatsu instead of like exactly f- fun times, which was uh, nice because like the next two episodes or like at least the final episode was like the ending, so it was like oh let's calm down before we ramp things up and do the ending because mm-hmm. normally it's the opposite. Normally they like go off and like for shows of this kind of structure, normally they go off and like do do that, go like do a effing hotel trip or whatever the f go to a water park do the beach episode mm. or well, something they did the beach episode in like episode seven yeah i guess that's or like the beach earlier. episode normally is but anyway yeah but uh their thing that they did before the show before the ending was just like kind of chilling and relaxing mm-hmm. so uh yeah but yeah that so t- <laughs> and then like the ending uh i liked because uh like it brought up a lot of the themes and but like I think a lot of it was I don't know I feel like the, there was a large a large part of like half of the last episode where they were like well I guess this is my life now without Toru let's go Kana and then it was like that went on for like five fifteen minutes not well 15 yeah minutes. it was supposed to be depressing like yeah it was it was definitely depressing someone I mean, everyone loves is now gone and we don't know if she's gonna come back and it's the last episode like they could yeah. have easily just been like yep anime's over she's gone forever. Yeah, it was definitely a better ending than just whatever the F. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, never mind. I like the last episode. That sold the point of, like, she has been gone for a while and everybody is sad. Even the sky is sad. Yeah. <laughs> Did you notice that it was cloudy during all of the all of that part? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's good. It's the little details. It's the little details. Yeah. Is it really Amu Rice? Is that really? Because they subtitled, Crunchyroll subtitled it as Amu Rice. It is, there's a Wikipedia page for Amu Rice. I guess. Yeah, also, dude. going back to the whole season two thing, I think it was, I looked into it, it's apparently that they're considering, it's not confirmed. Okay. They so. would, it would be a thing they would like to have happen, yeah. but whatever. So before anyone yells at me. Before anyone yells. Like 20 <laughs> minutes later. <laughs> yeah, Amu Rice already written. Um, Omo race is basically just like a different form of an omelet. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah it's just like I think it's just omelet. an omelet. It's with like rice. A, it's like an egg omelet with a egg omelet. It's like an egg omelet with rice in the middle. I've had it before. It's good. Ooh, I'm gonna try that now. I could do it if it weren't for the ketchup because I fucking hate ketchup. <gasps> <laughs> Actually, no, I don't like ketchup on eggs. I don't like ketchup that. Ketchup's good. Hold on, we need a we need a war. We need another discussion going on. We need another forty minute discussion. <laughs> <laughs> talking about ketchup. How come in anime... Yo, Conker, Conker. Really what? You need to catch up with the times. You need to shut up. <laughs> hey, how about that cream bread, though? That looks really good. Yeah, the it does. Bread. The, the thing that started her downfall as a character, because she yeah. started out <laughs> as, like, an interesting character, where they're like, they're, we're gonna fight, and then she trapped her in the t- fucking effing... <laughs> the field. The field of that kind of, and they were playing at. That was one hell of a mix-up. And then the next seven, that was a mix up. I know, like, let's fight. You first. And then she epic slammed the door. And she's like, well, <laughs> that solved that problem temporarily. And then she came back. And then, like, so, like, she seemed like she was going to be an interesting character. And then just, like, I'll give you food if you go away. Okay. Never sees her again. <laughs> yeah, like, okay. I, I just, I wish she had more. See ya. Sad. It, it is a good character design, though. I, I'm not feeling the uh-huh. horn. I'm not feeling the wiggly horn out of the top of the head. Well, but, that's, why uh, was, that, that's why it was gone for half of the fucking anime. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but uh, there was one part. There was, like, uh, Kana came home from school, and uh, she took off her hat, and then, like, sh- shook shook her head, and her dragon ears came out, and I thought that her was a pretty good part. Her horns popped back out, yeah. That was really good. <laughs> Let's just talk about every scene. Let's just talk about I how... I find it weird, th- though, that only she's the one who can appear to retract her horns. Well, she's yeah, also think- the youngest. Yeah, uh-huh. I guess. Yeah, because so, everybody else, like, retracted their tails and wings and crap, but, like... But Soro and Luko always had their horns. Yeah, They're but, like, you gotta... never had horns. You think... The thing is, though, like... Uh, kind of doesn't look like she has, like... Like, solid horns yet. They just kind of look like they're... Fabulous. Yeah, they just look like uh, ear fluffs. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> they're just little ear fluffs. Also, uh, uh, oh yeah, didn't uh, Kana's friend, like, sister, like, was a maid? Oh yeah, that was a weird mm-hmm. thing, where, like, uh, Kobayashi was into, like, classic maids, and, like, Toru was, like, thought a maid was just, like, the thing that she saw in Akihabara. This play took place in Akihabara. It's not noticeable, but there are definitely several, like, landmarks that say this is Akihabara. Mm-hmm. And Akihabara is very famous for, like, its maid cafes. So, like, while she was flying over the city, she saw a maid cafe and was like, okay, I guess that's what maids look like. Let's do that. And then Kobayashi was like, no, that's not how maids look like. And she never bothered to change because, uh, I had reasons. Mm. She gave him, uh, Kobayashi gave her, like, a different dress. But then, I mean, once Everything you have a staple like... outfit, you can't get rid of it. You her. can't change your very staple true. outfit. <laughs> I mean, look at that. uh, He had the same fucking shirt for, like, 50 years. 50 50 generations. Or half a second if we're going by the the timeline. (laughs) Ash is 10 forever, that's the joke. Anyway, Mm -hmm. but yeah, that's a weird character trait uh, that Kobayashi has, that where she's obsessed with maids, but only the old classic maids, not the fake maids, and then she had an entire conversation with Taki about this. A very drunken rant. Yeah. But so yeah, there's a there's a lot of good parts of this show. It's just mm-hmm. like the, so overall, like I I really like the show. We all really like the show, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I just feel, and I feel like after discussing, I feel like they also feel that like it just could have been a little better. But whatever. There was well, definitely perfect. There was definitely a handful of episodes that could have been different, but yeah. it's good how it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I feel like there were uh, 
Well, no, never mind. There weren't a lot of, like, forgettable episodes or scenes. There might have been a couple forgettable scenes, but, like, even forgettable episodes. Like, I was just thinking, like, oh, the comic episode was kind of forgettable. But then I remember, oh, yeah, some of the cosplayers were actual, like, monsters people. from Toro's mm-hmm. world. And the fact that Fafnir was selling actual curses you could kill people with. Actual curses you could kill people. Yeah, so there's never, like, there, there's never, like, oh, yeah, this anime really, like, is boring for a couple episodes. There's never, like, is, there's very little dull moments. Yeah, there's never, like, a bad bad scene or a bad moment mm-hmm. other than a fudging food girl <laughs> which which her which her scenes are like five seconds long yeah, elma yeah. was her name elma yeah but uh yeah her scenes are like five seconds long so like whatever right eh, but I yeah just... so overall like not a, not a bad show doesn't have bad moments it's just it's like a very it's very good show. it's a very solid it's a very good show uh, but, you know, it just could have been better. It just feels like it could have been better. Given the chance, I'm sure they would change it, but how it is now, there's not really any money it's, involved with it. Yeah, yeah, it's perfectly fine, the way it is. So, yeah, there you go. That's us, uh, talking for, like, 45 minutes about Kobayashi's Maid Dragon. <laughs> Kobayashi-san Chi no Maid Dragon. So, final scores, everybody? Eight. Like, a very solid 8. Nothing up, yeah. up or down other than, like, yeah. a very solid 8. Yeah, eight, eight, yeah. It's Consensus good. 8. Consensus. This gets a <laughs> rapid fire podcast review score out of 8. It's out of 8? Out of 8. eight so out it of gets eight. an 8 out of 8? It's a perfect? No, it, get, it gets 8 dragon lollies out of 10. <laughs> it gets it gets 8 uh, framed pictures of Fireboy out of 10. <laughs> I like the... Uh, like the fudging, what was that one really bad? Oh yeah, the the uh, the fudging uh, fudge, the twister scene. The do- <laughs> oh yeah, for that to be scene. there. The twister scene was effing great, dude. It was pretty good. Like <laughs> that, that was like, uh, should I be watching this? <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a like. If this gets any weirder, it's definitely illegal. <laughs> like they definitely stopped right before it got a little weird. I think that was like the only moment in the show where like it got like a little too weird. almost too fan service. There was like some. Uh, there was little... literally a part where Kana was on top of her, and then right after she was like, "What was Kana gonna do to me?" <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, F, dude, they are lesbians. Dude, everybody's lesbians. But, and and when also, I, saw I think. That... I'm pretty sure, like, my, my brain tricked me into thinking she said, was Kana gonna do me? I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dial that back a second. Girl, you're ten. <laughs> Stop. Anyway, yeah, more shows need to have, like, lesbians and not just have it be a joke. <laughs> because, like, I know at least Toru and Kobayashi were, like, uh, lesbians for more than a joke. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So that's a weird thing that anime does. Like, they have, like, girls kissing scenes for, like, a joke or something. The waifu know, pandering. Dude. What's that? What else was I going to say? There was like a... Oh yeah, it was Yuri on Ice that had like a very serious like game. Boo! You don't like... Okay, that that is a discussion video for another pandering. day. Pandering. That, was, that is a discussion for another day, my good sir. But we're going to leave. Goodbye. Uh, I've been Fireboy. Follow uh, Conquer19YT on Twitter. Uh, Links Conquer will be in the description. Twitch. No, just type it right now. Click off this video. Links, just links in the description. Wait, what was that? What was the name of that one anime that was basically just like the plot was lesbians? Kobayashi's Maid Dragon. No, 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 no. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I showed it to you. Sakura Trick. Yeah. yeah. Was that, was that actually it? I was just. Yeah, that was random. actually it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that and next. Outro yourselves. Hey, R2, Chris. outro uh, yourself. I'm R2. <laughs> links, Twitter links cool. in the description if you want to check these guys out. See you all later. Goodbye. Hey yeah. guys, I'm Chris. Welcome to this uh, podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it all starts where it ended, or ended where it starts. Goodbye, Bye, everybody. Bye. Actually leaving. You going? <laughs> Don't leave. I want to come. <laughs> <laughs>